Hey guys, in this video I am going to show you how to find the volumes of solids by integrating their cross sections. Let us solve a question to explain this one. So here is the first question. The base of a certain solid is the region enclosed by these curves. If the cross section perpendicular to the axis, x-axis are semicircles, then the volume of this solid will be. So for this you have to take care two main information where the very first one is base of the solid which base is involved there and the second information regarding the cross sections of that solids so from the base of the solid you have to draw this one uh, common section so here we have four curves let us draw this one uh, we have x equal to 0, x equal to 1, uh, then y equal to 0, and this half parabola. So this is what required from the base of the solid. Now uh, from the cross section, we need two information. The very first cross sections are perpendicular to which axis? So here x axis. So you will put dx in the volume. If they are perpendicular to y axis, you have to put dy. So the very first thing you can fill in the integral. Then you can fill lower and the upper limit from the base of the solid because integration uh, we are doing with respect to x. So clearly from the diagram, they are from 0 to 1. The next information you need the shape of the cross sections. So shape of the cross section here we have semicircles. So now you need a formula for a semicircle area formula. So if R is the radius of the semicircle, we know this is the area formula pi r square over 2. So this you have to plug here. So this is your volume. And the last information you have to replace R in terms of x. So for this one, you need a base of the solid. So you have to fill this one. So you can see the cross section, the vertical blue line. Cross sections are perpendicular to x axis. So we need the length of vertical blue line. And what is the relation of that blue line with the R? So here the equation of uh, this curve is this one and from there we will get the value of r in terms of x so blue line is y so we need y but what's the relation between r and y that is clearly r is y over 2 so we will fill this one by x square root over 2 so this is our volume with the help of cross sections so further you can simplify this one so you will get pi over 16 this is the answer now let us solve an other question here the base of the solid is bounded by the curve this one a circle of radius 2 if parallel cross sections perpendicular to the x-axis are square this time then the volume of the solid okay so we need the base of the solid and the cross section so we can make a volume integral so now let us start from the cross section so we already know what we need so let us decide what type of integration we need along x-axis or along y-axis so perpendicular to x-axis so that's why dx then the shape shapes are squares so for a square if each side is s its area is s square so this is our volume now we have to fill lower and upper limit of the integral so we need the base of the solid so let us draw this one so this is x square plus y square equal to 4 this is our equation so clearly the limits are minus 2 to 2 along x-axis so now the last thing we have to fill this one so for this we have to look for our cross sections so from this equation we will solve it for y and if you observe this is your y these are the cross section sorry so and if you match this blue one this is covering two uh, region above the x-axis and below the x-axis if you match this one 
with the s because we have to replace s by y so you clearly see this is the uh, double so we need 2y so 2y so we will fill this one then we can solve it so we will get 256 over 3 so this is the way by which you can solve any volume by integrating the cross sections hope you enjoy this one thank you very much